Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. And today we have something we haven't had in a, quite a long time. We are going to be looking at some Goose Creek candles. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a very, pretty big fan of all things 80s and 90s. And so the Strawberry Shortcake Collection spoke to a deep part of my soul. So I was very excited to get to try these candles. Um, I have six candles here to share with you. Funny story, so I actually had this video up for last week, but the like download wouldn't like go onto YouTube. It kept telling me it was corrupt and then the sound wouldn't work and so I had to like, scrap it. But I still wanted to share these with you. So I'm gonna talk about six different candles from the collection. Um, we're gonna start with the packaging. The packaging is adorable. Um, raise your hand in the comments if you love strawberry shortcake when you were little. Um, I think you have to be under the age of like 30 two probably but um I absolutely loved strawberry shortcake and I remember um having all the things I had a little custard cat stuffed pillow I had a big strawberry shortcake pillow that was like the size of my head that I slept on and drooled on and my grandma had to sew up all the sides because the cotton was poking out I still have her to this day so I was a huge fan of strawberry shortcake but I wanted to save that one for last so we're gonna just kind of go through the scents and talk about these. Um, I have yet to burn these. I'm definitely going to, and you'll see them come back in like a post burn review. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So raspberry tart. This was definitely one of Strawberry Shortcake's friends. And let's see here on the notes, it says, this is made of a soy blend and it is pink raspberry, sparkling sugar, warm tart and vanilla bean. And it's very really interesting how this definitely has almost like a baking element, like a warmed up crust, if you will, mixed with kind of that same scent of like um, Enchanted Candy Potion from Bath & Body Works. So it's got that kind of candy note, that like almost sweet and sour candy type of scent mixed in with a baked good, like a, like a crust or, you know, like a tart. Um, and then vanilla beans probably gonna definitely make this a nice creamy burn when it's blend or when it's burning, not blending. Um, it's a white wax and they are pretty thin wicks, um, but they're spread out nicely. So I'm hoping for a good burn. I've been telling you guys that lately my Goose Creek burns have been about 50, 50, either amazing and clean or we don't get through the candle. So I have hopes for these, but I will be honest, like I don't want to burn these quite yet. Like all of all six, I'm definitely going to try some, but, um, I just kind of love these for my collection. So I don't see myself like burning all six in one sitting, but isn't that cute? I just want to give you another little close up. This one is still available. Um, they're having a sale right now. It's pretty decent, but they're kind of always running sales on Goose Creek. So I do like that about the brand, but right now these particular candles are not included. So that was raspberry tart. And then we're going to move on to probably strawberry shortcake's best friend which was custard her cat so there's the packaging there super cute just like i remember it like i said they did a really nice job on the artistic side of this label it definitely gives me like that 80s feel of the cartoon that she hasn't been like brought into the brats world if you will plain lid white wax pretty thin um wick so again Sometimes that do, it duds out candles. I will be honest when I'm burning Goose Creek and sometimes it doesn't seem to matter as much. So let's read the notes on custard. Um, so yeah, the sale is six uh, candles for $60 all three weeks except for this collection. So um, if one of these scents kind of sounds interesting to you, they probably have it in just a regular, but I want to talk about nostalgia right now. So custard is a blend of pink strawberry, dense vanilla cream, soft butter, and melted vanilla sugar. And I really do get strawberry cake from this, um, maybe cupcake a little bit. Not there's a huge difference, but it doesn't seem quite as dense as it's reading from the notes. I'd say it kind of gives me a nice light, airy vanilla cupcake scent mixed with like a strawberry frosting. It's really pretty. Um, I think, you know, it, again, it kind of really ties to the collection that everything has a really nice bakery vanilla gourmand scent to it, but I'm excited about that one too. And then let's go to Orange Blossom, another friend of Strawberry Shortcake. Here's the packaging on her. Really cute. Like I said, it just looks, it's not vintage, but like very 80s-esque to me when I remember the cartoon. I don't know the year it came out. Um, and let's see the notes on this are. 
This one currently is out of stock, but they could restock it. So if these sound like good notes to you, um, and this is kind of more of a fresh scented candle, not so much a gourmand scented candle. So leafy green, fresh oranges and neroli, which I love. Like this smells so good to me. Like I would definitely pick up this in just a regular uh, candle if, if the strawberry shortcake collection doesn't come back in stock. Um, it is so fresh with, it really kind of smells like you just squirt, uh, you know, took an orange and like squeezed it into this jar and then you mix it with that like salty neroli element. It's good. Very fresh. And I just love this on cold. I can't imagine not loving this on burn. Um, I can't, I mean, other than that, just like, I don't know any other citrus that smells as good as an orange when you squeeze it. It's just the stickiness, but I've always said that's my favorite fruit except for the mess. Um, but let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these. I know I'm kind of a little bit late to the game. Just like I said, that video didn't work out and then life, but um, I'm still been very excited about getting these. So blueberry muffin. I knew I would love this one. Look how cute she is. And like I said, the packaging is a wraparound if I haven't said. Most of the, like, these are a little thicker, um, but a little shorter. I like the separated, like the spacing there. And this one is pretty light, I will say. And it's really nice. Like I really do like this, but I'm not picking up any type of like streusel element or like a cinnamon sugar type of, you know, brown sugar streusel topping. So that might come out on burn, but right away you do just kind of get like this kind of cake or muffin with mixed with like a wild blueberry, like a sugared blueberry, but not quite as strong as sugar blueberry, which we're, I'm referring to Bath and Body Works. So, um, I did love blueberry cheesecake from Goose Creek. I've tried that one many times in the past. So, I mean, that's definitely going to be a different base because it's going to have a cheesecake and this is more of like a muffin. So, um, doesn't smell like a cake. It definitely has more of like a breakfast type of pastry scent to it. I think that will be one of the ones I burn first. And then let's go with lemon meringue. Lemon meringue is this character right there. Oh, she's so cute. And I remember her from the cartoon. I remember blueberry muffin too. And I remember custard. Um, I think I remember all of them. Like it was yesterday. This one just smells like iced lemon pound cake. So you've got a nice vanilla icing mixed with a nice sweet tart um, lemon meringue type of scent. And then, you know, of course you probably have like heaps of whipped cream in here. Really nice, really, really pretty. Um, hopefully it holds its own. And like I said, the wicks on this one are really thin, um, pretty separated. So like I said, as long as it doesn't dud out, this will be a delicious burn. And last but not least, of course we have her, which is Strawberry Shortcake herself. Look at her. I don't even think I can burn this one, you guys. This is so nostalgic and cute. Look at the packaging all the way around. There is another one that is a silhouette. I'll pop a picture in here. Um, and that one I kind of want as well. So it's the same candle, just two different packagings of the same candle. But the Strawberry Short Shortcake notes read, I can't talk today. I don't know why I thought to do this over today. Um, we've got juicy pink strawberry. So, I mean, the strawberries are be pinking in these candles, fluffy shortcake, strawberry glaze and whipped cream. And it just smells so good. Like you can really pick up that scent when you cut up all your strawberries and you mix in some sugar or that glaze that is really strong in here. And then the short, the short, uh, the shortcake smells very dense to me, like an angel food, like sponge type of cake. And I get heaps and heaps of whipped cream in here. So this smells so good. This is definitely probably my favorite, if I'm being honest. Um, very, it smells very much like strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works, but you get a cute little strawberry shortcake character on this one. So I am so happy to get a chance to try these. I definitely will burn some and let you know how they go. Um, I don't know if they'll restock. They, Goose Creek does that sometimes. They restock and sometimes they don't. But um, I did kind of find a version of each and every one of these candles. Um on their site right now, like blueberry muffin, you have to try like blueberry cheesecake. But all the other ones seem to have just their standard Goose Creek candle version um, available right now. And like I said, they always run sales and deals. So I don't know, I like to kind of, I love to buy Goose Creek and then I take breaks. So I can't really say um, what you should do with your money. But like I said, this was a candle collection that just spoke to my literal soul because I'm just an 80s baby at heart. Like I will be holding on to this for a little bit. You will see this in a collection video. 
probably 10 years from now, but I'm definitely going to try some of these and report back to you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by and let me know if you tried this collection down below, if this interested you, um, are any of you guys still on a break from Goose Creek or have you tried more? And I haven't bought, uh, for quite some time. So again, more recommendations would be great because sometimes I like to get those reviews from you guys and say, eh, this one didn't work for me and it kind of saves me some money. So thank you in advance, but I will be back really soon looking like this with my Summit Annual Sale Haul Tips and Tricks video because that is right around the corner. I'm pretty excited. So until then, take care and I will see you in a video very soon.